Okay, so we're ready to move on. And it took a while for the stain to dry, but it dried. And I think what I want to do now is we're going to think about doing the, uh, the deck houses. So when it comes to the instructions, you can see the structures that are going to be going on. And I'm not sure if I want to do the cannons or not. I don't actually, I don't even know if we have the cannons, but um, we're going to do the deck house that's going to go in the back. And you can see some of the cargo hatches. There's four of those. You can see there's going to be two aft. There's going to be one large one in midship. And then this structure is going to go in the front towards the bow, along with these little pieces. And where is... Okay, those little... Here they are. So that structure is going to go down in the front towards the bow. And you can see some of the other pieces that we've got to do. Okay. So I want to do that. Also, when it comes to the ship now, I want to do the, um, the dark stain. There's a couple of areas now that I'm going to do, and I want to do on the inside, going all the way around. And once we get done that, then I can think about totally doing the deck house structures. So we're going to do the stain now, and then we're going to do all the structures. We're going to glue them together and get them when ready to put to on the dark. The I like to use the espresso. Let me give that a shake, and we're going to open this up. And like I said, I want to do the areas on the inside. So like I said, what I want to do is we're going to go along the edges on the inside of the ship. So let's start with the, uh, the aft. And again, you don't have to put a lot because doing the edges kind of, the lines aren't straight. And I'm not really used to working with the stain, so let's go ahead and... See how much that looks a little bit better? So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go along the edge, and I wanna do these sections. It's amazing how just a little bit of this stuff goes a real long way. See, that looks starting to look a little bit better, that finished look. So let's do the other side. Here we are. See how it kind of gives it that finished look um, going all the way around? Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look. I think I'm gonna start with the cabin in the back. So let's try to find those parts. 
All right, this doesn't have anything. It looks like the part of the anchors. Well, let's just do it the easy way. All right. I'm having a hard time finding the pieces for the deck house. I don't even see where the door is. Am I looking right at it? That's not it. That's definitely not it. That's not gonna be it. I like my little exacto set. take some of the glue now and I'm going to be using the uh, the model expo glue All right. so what we're going to do because the piece was so small and we weren't able to fabricate it so we're going to use a new piece and this is going to go right on this little round piece that's going to go on the bottom so let's take a little bit of glue Ah, all right, I know you guys aren't going to be able to really see that, but that is So these little pieces Make sure you guys can see them they're so tiny and they just don't, the laser didn't go all the way through. All right, let me show you guys how this is supposed to go. All right, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see those. That, that's like brutally small, but especially with my big clumsy hands. Uh, let's see, what is this structure? So this is how this is gonna go. Hmm. And it's funny because they have the parts with the gears and there's not even that in the kit. It doesn't even include that. So that could be the section that goes over here, and these could be yeah, these look like these could go like right over there. All right, guys, you know what? Enough of this. I'm just making my own deck house. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it my way. The hell with the instructions. Just like I did for the, the aft end of the ship. We're going to do it the Jerry way. Alright, so there we're going to put that. And we got to get some, some walls. I 
All right, so I'm gonna build up the, the boathouse at the aft end of the ship. So let's take this piece and we need to trim this off a bit. I think instead of using this, I'm gonna use the sandpaper. All right, so that looks pretty good. Make sure it's not crooked. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick this up to show you guys. So this is my cabin. So we gotta put a door on it. See the door on the front? All right. So let's put that aside. So the cabin. Um, and again, guys, there's no grates. There was supposed to be grates for the, uh, the cargo hatch covers, and there's nothing like that. So let's take what we have now and think about putting it onto the ship. Yeah, I we have we don't have any of these things to make these with. So this is D14 and this is supposed to go here. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue. And this is gonna go on. And the house, the deck house is going to go in the back. Actually, let's let's glue this now. My little deck house. So, all the way aft, we get the little my little deck house, and we get the cargo hatch, and let's see what we're gonna put. D13, we have to put this little round thing that we made, so let's glue that into place. And we don't have a grill, so what I'm gonna do is I gotta put the flat cover on, we'll have them closed. So I want to do, see how the paper stuck to that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that. And secure it. All right, that one. Okay, and again, it's going to be stained. But we got to make sure that the, uh, the mast is going to be able to go through.
Okay, so let me show you what we got so far. We've got the structures in the back, starting with the boathouse. We've got the hatches. We had to make the hatches closed because there's no grids. We don't have that with the kit. Coming forward, we have the thing that's gonna go around the mast. We've got the middle or midship cargo hatch. We're gonna put something in here to close the door. Coming forward, we've got this one and we have this other thing that's gonna be around the mast. So what needs to go in the front, according to the instructions, a couple of structures right there that look easy enough to do, but we, I can't find the pieces. Just to give you guys an, an idea of what I'm talking about, see the hatch, that letter, the letter is G2. So I don't have anything to put in over there. But we got the structures, and there are holes on the ship where I don't even know what they expect to go. See that little hole right there on the side of where the mast is? Now the mast is not going there. There are two holes for the mast, and yet we have two, three holes all together. And when it comes to the ship itself, it doesn't have anything in those areas. So I'm gonna have to use my imagination. Yeah, see how it's a little structure? So it looks like it could be something maybe to house the rope or the sails or something. Okay, so I think I think that looks pretty good. Let me see if I have something round where we can put on the posts. Um, or maybe I can connect them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a little a little connector going across. these two structures in the front and I was thinking about putting a cannon on it but like I said we don't have the pieces see all these pieces in order to make the cannons and we would need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we need ten of them and you see how they have the larger ones the problem is we don't have any of the pieces this is all we have the section of the cannons and we had one two three four Five, six. All we have is six cannons. We don't even have the bases to put them on. And the two wheels for the cannons are right here. And all we have are two of them. I must have been missing a piece or the, the kit was just... What they probably did was they probably made the master sheet of instructions that had everything on it. And, you know, the little pieces that you can buy separately or add on. But... We had to work with with what okay, we so got. So it's had a little bit of time to dry, and I think what I want to do is we're gonna we're gonna do the stain. We're gonna stain the structures on the deck, and I'm gonna do the stand as well. Let's put the ship aside for a second. And we're gonna open it up again. This is the espresso. The other one is the main little deck house. There. We're going to do the top, and we're going to do the door in the dark, and then I'll do the uh, the maple for the um, the walls. See the little door, and we'll put that maple. Okay, so let's do the the first cargo hatch. All right, now we'll do that other little structure whatever this thing is supposed to be all right now we got the, the next cargo hatch and again if you guys are wondering why they don't look like they did in the the instructions we don't have the grates so we don't have that to put on so we got to make our cargo hatches are going to be closed batten down the hatches as they say all right now this 
U-shaped thing that's going to be where the mast goes. Oh, good. I'm very glad to say that the stain is covering up the letters. See, we got those little vents. All right, moving forward. We got the uh, the forward vent. Uh, excuse me, the cargo hatch. There, and we got this one now. So the little structure that I made up. There. So what do you guys think of that? The only thing I got left to do now is we're gonna do the, uh, sadly this brush is dead, so we gotta give it the boot. And we're gonna open up the can of maple, but first I wanna, we're gonna close up this one. See how nice and rich that color is I love it yeah we got the little boathouse now it's all set it's gonna be my little cabin <laughs> that's where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go rest all right let's just do some of the looks pretty good so I think that looks pretty nice okay When we're done everything, I think for a finish coat, I'm gonna put some more of the maple onto the sides, but for now, I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna leave it like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can actually use this for uh, the stand. All right, now we're gonna do the base. Because again, I don't want this stuff showing. Let me see if I can mix. Let me... Yeah, that's what I like about it. It's going to cover up these. I hope it's going to cover up the numbers and the writing. Might have to put two coats on here, but that's okay. It's only the uh, area that I'm holding on. So there we go. That's done. So what can I put this on? What if I put it on here? And we do the, uh, the last section. Here we are. Looks pretty good. And if anything, it's, I don't know why, guys, it takes a long time for it to dry, like the bottom of the hull. It took like three weeks before I could handle it. So this is going to be, um, we're going to have a little bit of a wait until we do the next section of this build. But when we do move on, we're going to be doing the masts. And that's so my friends fun. going over what we did. We did the inside. Um, I had wanted to stain the walls, give it that finished look. We put another coat on the handrails around the top. Um, we did the back section where the bow is because the kit really had nothing for that back section. And we did the, um, the structures 
on the deck. We did the cargo hatches again. It didn't have any grills. I, I don't know why they just weren't with the kit, so we didn't we couldn't put the grills on. And you can see that G2 is showing up. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put another coat. If anything, just in there, just to hide it. But we built up the deck house. That's going to be my cabin <laughs> when we're out when I'm out to sea. Got my little door on the front. We have all the decks. Uh, all of the cargo hatches are closed. Um, we've got the little structures in the front. The little structures around the mass. I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, but that's all set. Now we're actually ready to move on for the masks. And that's going to be a really fun part. So my friends, until we do the, uh, the masks... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.